Here we go, chapter 14. Oh yeah, gonna get involved with some circles. Gotta love the circles. So 14.1, I'm gonna share my screen here. You got your notes there. Uh, basic definitions. So pretty, pretty short lesson here, pretty basic. You probably know a, a fair amount of this. We've actually talked about a little of this already this year at, uh, at various times. So let's start with some real basic stuff. Circle, what is the circle? It's a set of all points equidistant from a given point in a plane, okay? In a plane. Circle is just two dimensionals. It's on a piece of paper, on a whiteboard, oh, on a computer screen, look at that. Um, a sphere is the set of all, same as above, but in space. In other words, it's three dimensional. Oh, am I not a ball in here? Oh my gosh, I don't. Oh, well. Um, concentric. Concentric circles or spheres is two or more circles or spheres with the same center. Yes, same center. So all these circles have the same center P. Okay. Um, what's the radius? It's a segment from the center of a circle or sphere to the, to the circle or the sphere. Yes, yes. Okay. And a chord. Okay, we're not talking about a music chord, although those are important too. A chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on the circle or sphere, okay? And we're gonna see pictures of these in a minute, but a chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on the circle or sphere, both endpoints, okay? A diameter is a very special type of chord. All chords are special, but diameters are very special. It's a chord which contains the center of the circle or sphere, okay? And you guys all know this one, I'm sure, but what's the relationship between a radius and a diameter of the same circle. Think about it, think about it. Yeah, the radius is half the diameter. In other words, the diameter is twice the radius, okay? So D equals two R, or R equals half D, or D over two. Okay, and a secant is a line which intersects a circle or sphere in two points. Okay, not one point, two points, okay? So what does every secant contain? A chord, that's right, excellent, very good, very good. All right, onward. So we have our diagram here and you can see we got a bunch of segments there and we've got one line here. Okay, so name the radii in the figure. Name the radii in the figure. Did you put segment CD, segment CE, and segment CF? Good. Oh, and by the way, the first letter does not have to be the center of the circle. Uh, I just happened to write them that way. You could have put FC if you wanted to. Okay, what are the chords? What are the chords? Remember, chords have endpoints on the circle. How many do you see there? I hope you see between three and five. J-I. H, G, D, E, and A, B. And which one is the most special of them all? Yeah, Ed or D. Um, D like D, like D, yeah. And which one's a secant? Where's the secant? Careful, careful how you label it. Did you label it line H, G? I hope so, it's gotta be line, right? Okay, and then a theorem we have here, the intersection of a sphere with a plane through the center of the sphere is a circle with the same center and the same radius. This circle is called the great circle. So let's, let's venture upstairs, shall we? And, and see that in action. I'm gonna stop the share. 
And let's let's venture upstairs. And upstairs, oh, awesome surfboard up there. That was my uncle's surfboard. Can you guys see that? That was my uncle's surfboard. And my stepfather-in-law is a painter. He painted that picture. And come upstairs, and come upstairs. All kinds of stuff up here. see stuff. Yeah, let's see. Let's come over to the fridge, shall we? And we don't have anything that's exactly like a great circle. But wait. oh, we well, yeah, it's okay. We'll use the lemon. Pretend this is a round lemon. It's pretty close to being a sphere, isn't it? All right, so let's see if I can do this. Let's get out a cutting board, like a, like a cookie chip or something. And take out the fancy knife, be careful, Mr. Kalen. And I'm gonna try and cut this. So I'm gonna make a plane, right? My knife's gonna be like a plane, right? To the center. And you can see what we have. We have the great circle and that's kind of like another great circle because it, it would really be just the circle that connects those right how about that huh, what am i gonna do with those lemons i don't know anyway hope you enjoyed that congratulations on starting chapter 14.